The liquid carbon dioxide is then stored in specialized cryogenic tanks designed to withstand extreme pressures and temperatures. These cylindrical vessels, constructed from corrosion-resistant stainless steel, can hold up to 2,600 tons of liquid carbon dioxide. Safety valves prevent dangerous pressure buildup, while insulation systems maintain the ultra-low temperatures necessary to prevent evaporation. Here's where the magic really begins. The actual production of dry ice starts when liquid carbon dioxide is transported through insulated pipelines to specialized manufacturing equipment. These machines are engineering marvels, designed to handle the extreme conditions required for dry ice production while maintaining strict safety protocols. Carbon dioxide in high concentrations can be deadly, so sophisticated ventilation and monitoring systems continuously track gas levels throughout the facility. The transformation process relies on a principle called rapid decompression. When liquid carbon dioxide at high pressure is suddenly released into a lower pressure environment, it expands explosively. This expansion requires enormous amounts of energy, which the carbon dioxide absorbs from its surroundings, causing an instantaneous temperature drop. Inside the production machines, liquid carbon dioxide is injected through specially designed nozzles where the pressure drops from 15 bar to approximately 5 bar in milliseconds. This dramatic pressure reduction triggers the phase change, with part of the carbon dioxide flash freezing into tiny ice crystals, while the remainder vaporizes into gas that's captured in